Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. Today's viewer requested question is from Rat276, interesting name. How do the skimming anti-ship missiles perform over land? So, if a ship was only a mile or so offshore and the missile was launched from further inland but forced into their terminal phase, so they're not cruising at Angels 15 or something, they're in, they're in their sea skimming fails, how will all of the anti-ship missiles behave? Also over varying height of terrain, if they will go nap of the earth or they will ground strike. Really hope you can uh, take a look, look at this one, Cap, well we sure will, we never back down from a challenge. So missiles, we've got the AGM-84 Delta Harpoon, in the FA-18C, we've got the RB-15, the RB-04 uh, in the Vigan, we've got the Sea Eagle in the C-101, we've got the 802AK uh, anti-ship missile in the Jiffy Pop. Um, anything? I think that's it, isn't it, RC? That's it. I always seem to forget something. We've got AGS-37, we've got the C-101CC, the FA-18C, and the Jiffy Pop. We're 33-0 nautical miles from our target here, which is perfectly within range of all of the missiles, I believe. It's a hostile ship with no offensive capabilities. They've all got a spee or a uh, waypoint roughly near the guy there, just in case we need it. But the missile has to go once it's in its terminal phase, and they're all going to go in its terminal phase within, you know, kind of 10 miles of the target. So once in terminal phase, we're going to have some terrain in the way. We've not done anything silly because we don't want it to go over mountains, maybe one day, but we just want some und gently undulating terrain. So from ASL zero mean, we've got 50 feet, 400 feet, up to about 1100 feet. So we can see if we can get it over a 1100 ASL terrain. See what happens. Any predictions, RC? Uh, run into the mountains. Run into the mountains. Okay, I'm going <laughs> to... You know what? I don't know. These have all got radar these missiles so they can see the land but because they're anti-ship missiles it's very possible that they simply aren't a configured or b just don't have the the programming the electronics to actually avoid the land to do nap of the earth so i really don't know i really don't know i, mean, I think we can program the 15s to fly high not just no that's fire. not what he asked though he asked if they'll fly right. nap of the earth so yeah we're aware we can send that harpoon over the top here at fifteen thousand feet but he asked can we get them to fly nap of the earth to, to uh, terrain track, uh, for lack of a better word. Um, that's what we're trying to prove today. First, Vigan and RB15, stand by. So we're gonna go to Harge on. Um, we're gonna go to Attack. Uh, attack, we're gonna go to uh, Impulse. We're gonna go to Standard. We're gonna go to Nav. So we're gonna fire these without waypoints. We're gonna fire the blind, um, shouldn't make any difference how we do it, so stand by. Cap is Bruiser 1, Bruiser 2. They're in transit mode now, searching, and they're going to stay at 100 mean ASL. Okay, they've seen the target with their radar, they've gone terminal on them now, and you can see they're going to go down to a handful of feet. I stood next to one of these in real life, they're massive. So interestingly, the radar seen through the mountain there, but obviously anti-ship missiles are not programmed for uh, type of thing in DCS. And they went terminal at about 10 nautical miles, I suspect. Right, get a little blighter, pull up please. Pull up, 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 up. And it's not going to do it. Boom! Bumping great 200 kilo warhead. And his sister, I think, impacted as well. So, it just on a basic blind fire mode, anti-ship mode, it's not going to work. Okay, let's try the Vigan. Okay, back in the Vigan, Andy. RB04. Okay, here we go again. So, get everything going there. Uh, right, gonna go to nav, radar screen on, uh, T1 fix, I'm gonna move that ever so slightly closer towards us, I can see the boat already through the mountain, uh, TP fix that there, I am going to attack, and that is an RB04, oh, ANF, that is an RB04 set up, that is Bruiser, Bruiser. Greta Thornburg won't like those emissions, I can tell you that, RC. <laughs> How dare you. The difficult thing about this missile is I've got no real way of knowing when it's gone terminal. We just have to hope it goes terminal. Reading the manual, we do have the range to go terminal before we hit this terrain, so we're going to assume that it has gone terminal. You can see where its sisters hit the ground, so it's probably not going to... Yep. Thump. No, we think they probably went terminal, at least according to the manual, and they, these had absolutely no attempt 
at dodging, which is actually strange because I thought the Zero Four was actually um, an air-to-ground weapon, um, kind of hastily transferred to a uh, air to sh anti-ship weapon. I may have that wrong. It's just from memory that I'm working there. Next, I'm going to try a C101 and the beloved British Sea Eagle standby. Okay, let's see if we can remember this. So we're going to go. There it is. Master arm on. Select our pylons. Ooh. I think it's rocket from memory. Uh, so trigger s uh, the safety. Right, let's give that a go if we can. There go my babies. Okay, we are in cruise mode now and they're at 45 feet. Okay, it's crunch time. Are they going to evade? Are they going to evade? I wonder if you set up the uh, waypoint for the new one. Wait. Come on, baby. Oh, so they're doing it. They're doing it. Wipe, wipe. Look, it's working. Okay. Yeah, super missile to space. That's so cool. One blew up, but the other made it. Don't hit it. Ah, oh, so close. Oh, yeah. It almost it made it. Going over it. So that would have worked if we didn't have such high terrain. Oh, yeah. So the Sea Eagles really wasn't expecting that. Does its best to dodge, they're but trying. just couldn't quite make it. We made it a bit too steep. So, but it will dodge if it's, you know, less, less steep. Um, hmm. Okay. Hornet and the AGM 84 Delta. So the bearing at the moment magnetic is 332 near, near as damn it. Um, so it's head ground, harpoon, uh, mode, BOL, that'll do. Flight low, so we can keep it. Terminal skim. I'm going to go low. Fire Search. Visual. 10 miles, enter, bearing, oh, was it, 332 magnetic, okay, that is my baby's setup, wait for time, and cap is cruiser, cruiser, right, we've got one here, let's work its way down to 948 feet, I think it's going to cruise, oh yeah, it's gone terminal, at about 8 miles that was, this is going to be interesting, I'll see, I don't know what to expect now. It looks like it's not going to dodge. And... <laughs> pow! Oh, it tried! It tried. Kind of tried. Let's try another one. Now, this one's going to 5,000. Okay, it looks going to be interesting. It's going to terminal dive into the mountains. No idea what it's going to try and do here, to be honest. <laughs> That's not going to come out. It's not going to work well for it, I'll I can tell you that. Ooh! Alpha! It tried again. It saw them. Did you see that? The radar did see them. Or the uh, altimeter, yeah. the, bar the um, radar altimeter or whatever. But it just, again, it's just not programmed to, to do this. So the AGM-84, no. Okay, Jiffy Pop. Oh, boy. We, oh, I haven't done this for a while. Let's see. Air to ground mode. And we've got power on. Mode. We've got direct, coordinate, or line of sight. I think it's line of sight. I think it would be... Oh no, we've got a spy out there. We've got a spy out there, so we can... Yeah, um, so it'll follow it. I'm going direct, yeah. Uh, quantity one. Low. Target is... Mm, this doesn't work, but medium. Fuse direct. Weapon 802. Uh, don't think we have a master arm. Oh, master arm is on. Super cap is... Bruiser. Bruiser. They look just like the sea eagles, don't they? Oh no, mine have caught yours up, I'll see. You see that? Oh, yeah. Superior Chinese attacker. Ooh. Magic missiles. Mm -hmm. Yes, they are. That they are, I see. That they are. Why are some going faster? Mine are going faster because they're super cap spunk powered. Better cut that out. Okay, here we go. I'm going to say no. Don't look where they're going. They're not going. They're not going. Oh, oh cheeky oh. Chinese. Oh, boom, boom, boom. Again, they started. You saw them start, didn't didn't you? But, right. um, yep. I mean, they tried. you're not going to get much less undulation than that there. That was about, I don't know, about 50 feet. Okay, we've been playing around with the missiles, and we found a mode that I think should work. So stand by. Stage one burner on.
beautiful terrain of Asian Oz. This guy gonna be hit. He can be hit. He's skim. I've got delayed fuse on. Boom! <laughs> Get some of that. You want some of that? Right. So that concludes really. There is only one way we can get a true anti-ship weapon to go over the terrain and that is to just fly it yourself. The RB15s do not really make an attempt to evade in true air to sea mode. Yes you can put them in uh, terrain evasion mode but that is as it says in the manual for air to ground operations only not for anti-ship so it kind of irrelevant and I don't think it flies in the earth anyway. RB04 makes no attempt, the Sea Eagle makes a good attempt but can't clear this, the AGM-84 makes a very small attempt and the 802AK makes a very small attempt but none can do it and just to confirm all aircraft were in terminal phase and skimming before they reached the other side of the island which was less than six miles. I hope you enjoyed that and see you later.